and Jenna Lee Thomas joins us a little bit early with a story about turning all that sunshine into energy. That's right. A plant in Peoria hopes to lead Arizona to become the solar capital of the world. Every time I walk my dog, I take advantage of the sunny days. Hector Luna feels energized by the sunshine when he walks his dog, Rocky, through his Phoenix neighborhood. So the sun has a lot of wonderful possibilities, and I think it's just the beginning. He supports using solar energy, even though he knows he'll end up paying more. So better to, you know, take the painstaking steps now, you know, you know, to benefit everybody in the long run. Salt River Project says solar energy is more expensive for its customers than the traditional fossil fuels. SRP manager of sustainability Lori Singleton is convinced it's a price worth paying. But I think they're looking at it in terms of a clean energy future for the valley and for Arizona. SRP is already investing in this sun disk technology. Maricopa Solar is a first of its kind renewable energy plant. Company representative Jeanette Coates hopes to see these types of facilities opening nationwide. This is a test ground. It's a proving ground. This is a demonstration plant to the world that this technology will work. Although this may seem like a small facility, Maricopa Solar has more than doubled the specific type of power for all of Arizona. And in turn, Arizona could become the solar capital of the world. That will translate to construction jobs to build these facilities, jobs to operate the facilities, jobs to make these products. So, um, you know, America needs that right now. And Hector and Rocky, still basking in the Arizona sunshine, would tend to agree. I think it's a great thing. Uh, in the long run, it's better for everyone. And if you're looking for more ways to make the world a better place for everyone, there are many ways to get involved. Consider watering your lawn only late at night or early in the morning when evaporation is low. Then time your showers and see who in your house can take the quickest shower. You can help out in the community with an urban garden or grow your own plants. Then of course there's always alternative transportation like walking, carpooling, and public transit. If you'd like to participate in some Earth Day activities, Tempe has an open market tonight until 8 o'clock and Mesa has has Earth Day um, celebrations in Chandler as well this Saturday. For more information, you can visit my Twitter account at World of Weather. I've been tweeting about Earth Day events all day today. But right now in Phoenix, it's currently 64 degrees and humidity is at 26%, but that's going to be dropping over the next few days here. Current temperatures across the valley, Deer Valley at 62, Goodyear at 70. As we head east, a little bit cooler, Scottsdale at 62 degrees. Everyone in the state right now is cooler as well. Page at 54, Yuma 64 degrees, and right now Tucson, you're seeing 49 degrees. So everyone in Arizona has been a lot cooler lately. And there's been several storm systems across the country. There is some high pressure down in the southeast part of the country, but there is high, there's low pressure in the central part of the country here, which is causing the storm systems and lots of showers through the central part of the country and through Missouri will be getting hit very heavily tonight and tomorrow with rain. Lows for tonight here back in Arizona, 40 degrees in Page, 55 over in Yuma. And then tonight, Flagstaff, you'll be seeing a very cold 18 degrees, so get out your coats for tonight. Highs for tomorrow, Winslow at 59, Tucson at 64, and Bullhead City at 79. So things are warming up for tomorrow. Our five-day forecast is showing clouds and a slight chance of rain for Friday and a beautiful sunny and dry weekend.